Yeah guys, I thought I'd show you the bell kit. On here this is just a PLCE working belt, British Army issue. I have my BK2 knife kit, as I've covered on a previous video. Um, there's nothing special about the belt itself. Um, all I've done is added some duct tape all the way I folded it back and adjusted it to my side size. Again I fold it back, added duct tape on that size. Moving down the belt, I can't turn it off just to make it easier for you to see. And here, that's the kit minus the BK2. This long pouch here, made out of some sort of web nylon seatbelt material, is just the back of a lap lander folding saw. I do have a little bit of um, reflective orange power cord in there and a prussic. That's when I put my hand in my loop. Again, it is just larks headed onto the lap lander. So I put my hand in there. I can slide the prussic down and it isn't coming off. And I've got my saw to use. And I can't drop it. Let's get it off. Slide the lark's head off, and there it is. Next down here, I have just a piece of power cord again, reflective power cord with a big rivet stop or not, and quite a heavy duty carabiner. Not climbing grade or anything like that, it's just sort of the next step up to the cheaper ones you get. I'm going to use that clip for, amongst other things, and the height of summer, I tend to stick my hat on it. Um, my uh, gauntlet gloves I use here for grabbing my hot pots and things off the fire. Perfect for it. I've just got some, a little bit of that bank line. As I said, it was a triple braid. There we go. That's the triple braid. And I'll put a grommet in the corner myself. Oh, there's a grommet I've put in the corner. Tie some bank line through again. Using figure eight stopper dot on them, just to keep it simple, and then clip that straight on my belt. So much easier when you've got it on. And you got, and I have my gloves on my belt as well. Those are perfect for processing their uh, wood. Not so much as always grabbing stuff off the fire, which is the primary use. But if you're processing wood, grabbing thorns, prickles, just save your hands. You know yourself, if you work with your hands and you injure your hands, you're screwed. Next I have my Leatherman Super 2 200. I'll come back to that. Then I have my Max Edition Mega Roly Poly. This is simply pull the tab and it unrolls, unfolds into a nice large deep pouch and I can easily fit two large Nalgene bottles in there and I can easily fit them in there fit rabbits in there what I tend to use mine for is collecting tinder I'm out and about I'll collect birch bark because I'm walking a log and then by the time I've got anywhere log with the birch bark dead flower tops nettle tops dead weeds um, things like the tops of the rose beer willow herb off last year and by the time I get to the campsite, I've got a bag full of stuff ready to dump it in a pile. Hit it with my ferro rod, and my fire's ready to go. Right, get back to the Redeathwood Super Tool. I have, again, a piece of that inner tube round there, and I have some bank line wrapped around it. The reason I have that bank line wrapped around there is, if I was ever in a position where I need to start a bore drill fire, that's my go-to string for it. Whether it works or not, I don't know. And that is the uh, leather case that actually comes with the um, Leatherman. Right, what I've done to mine again is I've added a piece of bicycle in the tube and I keep it over the lock handles again to prevent wear and tear. However, this has a secondary use. On opening up the Leatherman, you can see it has needle nose pliers, your normal ply grippers, wire cutters, and a crimper. And that's just all in the head part. One of the things I find is if I'm tying flies for example, you're holding it, you've got it, only got one hand. This piece of elastic goes over the bottom handles. Now I can wedge that in a tree, in the ground, but that 
isn't coming open as you can see. Elastic legs are shut. Gives you a third hand to hold things. Let's rest it against there like that for demonstration purposes. So now I'm tie that. Leatherman Super Tool itself, I use it primarily on XA4. The needle nose pliers, which first aid applications. Yeah. Has a large main knife, the regular screwdrivers, file, serrated knife, Phillips screwdriver, and a saw. Again, the knife can be a backup knife to be main knife, so again can be a backup saw. Should anything happen to us, I have the ability to make what I don't already have. Right guys, that is me belt kit. Give you a quick demonstration of what it looks like on. Because I will get somebody who asks. <laughs>